In NDSU's Barry Hall, you find ag business and applied economics students discussing everything from wheat and soybeans to other products. Their commodity trading professor is Dr. William Wilson, recognized as one of the top agricultural economists in the world. 15 million bushels of corn to be shipped in equal amounts Jan, Feb, March, April, May. Since 1982, he's been teaching foreign buyers and is involved in a program that takes him to Australia, supervising PhD students at La Trobe University in Melbourne. 900 contracts in which months? And May, okay. His research at NDSU focuses on the areas of logistics, international trade and commodities, and grain marketing. Dr. Wilson has served on the board of directors for the Minneapolis Grain Exchange. So I do uh, research in a number of areas, but in general my field is what we call risk and strategy. So in risk, we try to quantify risk and then evaluate mechanisms to reduce risk. In agriculture and all commodities, whether it's agriculture or energy or oil, there's huge amounts of risk. What we try to do is measure risk, so then we can evaluate strategies to reduce those risks. So in North Dakota, just for example, this last year, the, the loss to the state because of inappropriate risk management in soybeans alone was $6 billion. So that's a lot of money. Dr. Wilson earned his PhD in agricultural economics from the University of Manitoba. Recently, he was recognized for his distinguished record as a researcher and educator with the NDSU Peltier Award. He believes a professor's research is very important to students' learning in the classroom. By doing research, it forces us to be forward-looking in a very selfish way because the time frame from sort of conceptually identifying a problem and then defining a methodology or inventing a methodology and analyzing by the time you get it published typically is three years. So by definition in research, you have to be forward-looking. Otherwise, you're always backward looking and you're always teaching backwards about old things. Dr. Wilson's teaching philosophy centers on the principle that learning is doing. My view, especially at the senior level, it's really important to get students engaged. You saw it here today, but getting students engaged, I give a ton of assignments. I give them 15 assignments, they gotta do 10. I get them engaged in class exercises like we did here today. They're always doing something related to this class. My idea is, and my challenge then is always bring what's happening at that instant to the concept we're trying to convey in the class. Dr. Wilson's so advice here. to students, have a passion for what you are doing. And I reflect on my own career, that if you love what you're doing, it's easy to do a good job. If you don't like what you're doing, it's hard to do a good job.